Hey guys, welcome back. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to revamp the look of your terminal using ZSH and some of its tools. And this tutorial will work on both Linux and Mac OS. To do this, we have to install three things. The first thing is of course ZSH, an alternative shell to bash. The second thing is oh my ZSH, an amazing framework for ZSH, which has a vast amount of plugins and themes for ZSH. The third thing is ZSH auto suggestions, which provides more advanced suggestions based on previous commands that you've used. The first thing that we need to do is install ZSH. The ZSH or the Z shell is an extremely feature rich shell that is much more robust than traditional bash. Installing it will depend on your specific machine. For macOS, it's pre-installed and it's the default now. But for most Linux distributions, like Ubuntu, you'll need to install it from the package manager. I'm using Arch Linux, so I was able to install it by simply running the command sudo pacman s zsh. Once you've installed it, run the command zsh to use the shell. This will take you through a first time user setup. I'll just use the defaults. Once you set that up, you just have to run chsh for change shell dash s slash user slash bin slash zsh to change your shell to zsh. To change it back, just run chsh dash s slash bin slash bash or whatever shell you had installed previously. The next thing to do is to install oh my zsh. To install it, you just have to run this command, which I'll have in the description. Oh my ZSH is amazing because it has a plethora of themes and plugins to choose from. You can find all of these on their GitHub page, which I'll have linked in the description. They have plugins for just about every distribution and some more for things like Docker and Python. I'll be using the plugins for Arch Linux, the distribution I'm running, Git, and Screen. To enable these plugins, simply edit your .zshrc file with something like vim and separate each plugin with some sort of white space, but no commas. Now we can install some themes. One of the really popular themes is Agnoster, but it requires Powerline fonts, like many other themes. To install Powerline fonts, you can install it through the package manager for Ubuntu and Fedora, but for other distributions and Mac OS, you have to clone the Git repository and run the install script. Now that we've installed it, we just have to enable a theme. To enable themes, we can just edit the .zshrc file again and set zsh theme to the theme we want. You can also set this to random and configure a pool of themes you want it to select between, or a pool of themes that you don't want it to select at all. The last thing to do is to install zsh auto suggestions. You can install it as a package, but I think it's much easier to install it as an oh my zsh plugin. To do this, you just have to copy and paste this command in your terminal, which simply clones the repository and installs it in the oh my zsh custom plugins directory. After that, just add zsh auto suggestions in your .zshrc file as a plugin. Now that we've installed everything, let's give it a whirl. As you can see, our terminal looks really fancy and it's extremely customizable because of oh my zsh. And we also get recommendations based off our previous commands because of ZSH auto suggestions. Additionally, when we're given a set of possible completions, we can na navigate through them with our arrow keys, and when we click the up arrow, it shows us previous commands that start with the beginning that's already been typed. Now, you should have an awesome looking terminal. I hope you liked the video, and if you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe.